This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. To add an app to Microsoft Intune here, I'm in my Office 365 Admin Center. I'm just going to go down, all the way down under Admin here, and click on Intune. And then let's click on Apps. And from our overview, we can scroll over, click on Add Apps, or go down to Add Apps. And go up here and click on Add App. It's going to launch the Microsoft Intune Software Publisher. So I'll go ahead and log in. And I'll click Next to the splash screen here. We can use a software installer, external link, and manage iOS app from the App Store. We're going to do a software installer, and you can see the different options we have here. We've got a, a .apk, this is for Android, iOS, this is for your Apple iOS devices, Windows Phone app package here. It's going to be a X app, FX, or FX bundle. And then we have Windows app package, so if we're installing it on uh, like a desktop, laptop, or tablet, we would use this option, and then we also have Windows Installer through MDM. I'm going to use Windows App Package, and let's go ahead and browse to where our AppX file is. That's where we're going to upload the actual AppX file. It's not going to be unpacked or anything like that. So I've got it at my C drive here, Test App. There it is. I'll go ahead and highlight it, click on Open, and it'll verify it here, make sure it's the appropriate file for what we have selected for our software installer type. Go ahead and click Next. Now this information will be able to be seen by our users. So for publisher, I'll just type in uh, ITDVDs test, the name of the app, whatever we want to give the name, and also description here, a URL for software information. If we have a web page that explains how to use it or anything like that, we'd want to add the URL here. There's a privacy URL. We'd want to add it here as well. Category, what type of apps it, is it? Maybe mine's computer management. I'll go ahead and select that. I can upload an icon, and this is something that we would want to do in a corporate environment. Here you can see the recommended size is 32 by 32, and that's pixels. If we browse, you can see it can be a PNG or JPEG file, which is nice because sometimes when we work with apps, we have to work with ICO files, and those can be a little bit difficult to create. So I'll go ahead and click Next, and Upload. Okay, and it was successfully completed. We can go back here. We may need to refresh. I can just navigate away and navigate back to it. And there it is. Now let's deploy this app so it can be sideloaded onto our devices here. I'm in my apps, got app selected. Here's our app. Click on Manage Deployment. And we're going to add the groups that we want to deploy this to. We can deploy it to user groups or device groups. We've got default groups here. We could create our own if we'd like. Let's take a look at the uh, default groups here. All users, I'm going to select that, click on Add, and click Next. So here it says Approval. It's really a kind of de deployment action. How are we going to deploy this app? So in this case, we're deploying it to users instead of devices. And if I click on this here, you can see we've got a couple options. We've got Required Install, Not Applicable is actually selected. Available install and uninstall. So required install means that the app is going to be installed onto the device with no end user intervention required. Then we have not applicable. That just means uh, we're not going to do much with the app here. It's not displayed in the company portal and it's not installed on any devices. We've got available install. This means the app is displayed in the company portal and end users can install it on demand. And then if we ever install an app and we need to uninstall it, we can use this uninstall. So you can see when we select users, we've got all these options available. If I go back, let's go previous, I'm going to remove the users here and select all devices, or it could be a device group. Click Add, click Next. And here you can see available install is actually not an option. So when we're working with devices, we're deploying it to devices, we can just make it a required install or uninstall. So it's really an important thing to remember is that when we're deploying to devices, we basically can just choose to have it installed. When we deploy to users, we can make it so the users have the option to go to the portal and install it themselves or force it to be installed. So let's go back here, select our users. I'm actually going to remove the uh, devices. 
select all users and I'm going to change this to available install so that it shows up in the company portal and click finish and that's it so now we've deployed this app so it can be sideloaded let's take a look at what it looks like from the end users point of view so I'm on a Windows 10 uh, machine here device that's being managed by Intune I've got my company portal installed it's an app we get from the Windows Store I'll go ahead and open it up and if it's my first time opening up it'll ask me for my uh, username and password I'd go ahead and log in and that's the username here that's in our Azure Active Directory so you can see I use jlocker at itdvdscorp.com and here's the app we deployed so you can see any other apps we would add they would see it here in the company portal If they want to install it, they can just click on it or tap on it depending on the advice our device and you can see details click install or tap on install and that's it the app is sideloaded